Well, good attitude in all things as an attribute of brotherly kindness, it is. And 2016 Perry High School graduate lives the definition of that. Wesley Godfrey lost his hearing very early in life, but as Matt Finkel reports, being hearing impaired hasn't stopped Godfrey from finding success in sports and in life. I, I got mentioned, I lost my hearing at s seven months old. I was just a baby. And then um, I've been here and here since two, two years old. Of course, I was involved with deaf culture and sign language. At the age of two, Godfrey got a cochlear implant, so he doesn't rely solely on sign language. I mean, there's a lot of people around, it's hard to hear, but what is quiet like this is easy to hear. To pick up the sounds and the different tones, the communication, and you have to talk a lot, do a lot of spirit safety. While some might get discouraged by a hearing disability, Wes has taken the opposite approach. Let's do your whole block for me. He has made it a positive in his life, and he's made it, uh, he actually works harder because of his disability. And, and I just think he is who he is because of his disability. If I know I can do it, I can do it. I, I never seen myself, oh, I can't do it, I'm deaf, no, no. I, I just know I can do it, let me do it. Every night at practice, uh, he's our hardest worker and he's always encouraging everyone else. Uh, he's a leader, he's captain of our team. Godfrey's high school career has been full of memorable moments, like helping the basketball team claim its first ever district title last winter. Wes also holds a school record in the 1600 on the track, and he just finished out his senior season running in the 400, 800, 4x200 relay, and 4x800 relay. It's very focused, like you have to focus. And like, if you're on 4x4 four four or 4x2, four you have a team that depends on you, and then they want you to do their best. So if you do your best, that's all you can do. When you get Wes on the track, he's 100% all the time. So he's automatically in fifth gear right away, bam, as hard as he can go. And at the end of every practice, he will go by and shake the hand of every assistant coach I have, and then, of course, my hand. But every night since seventh grade, he's shaking our hands to end the practice and thanked us. Wes's athletic accomplishments are impressive, but it's the way he carries himself off the field that has made him an inspiration. Just a young man of integrity, follows the Bible. Hey, we know Foreman line. Doesn't miss church and is just a great role model. I want to be working in construction is that um, I've, I've been talking to a lot of people, so I've been, so it helps me to move in. And like with me making friends with other people, Hearing people um, helps me make it easier. A lot of coaches are role models for their players. He's my role model. <laughs> He's a role model for me. He makes me want to be a better person. He wants me to be a better coach, a better Christian. He, he's the, the, the type of a kid that you only get once in a lifetime, and uh, I'm glad that I've had the last five years to spend with him. With the Commodores, I'm Matt Finkel.